For me, this song raises the question, what makes a country song country? The lights in the harbor don't shine for me. I'm like a lost ship adrift on the sea. Sea heartbreak, lost love and loneliness, memories of your caress. So divine, how I wish you were mine again, my dear. I am on a sea of tears, sea heartbreak. How did I lose you? Where did I fail? to sail see our break lost love and loneliness memories of your caress so divine how I wish you were mine again my dear I'm on a sea of tears see our break Oh, what I'd give to sail back to shore Back to your arms once more Come to my rescue Come here to me Take me Keep me away from the sea. Sea heartbreak, lost love and loneliness, memories of your caress. So divine, how I wish you were mine again, my dear. I am on a sea of tears, sea heartbreak. See a heartbreak. See a heartbreak is thought of as a country song because the hit recording of it in 1961 was by Don Gibson, a B-list country singer and it quickly was covered by bigger names in the country world, most notably Johnny Cash and then a whole bunch of others. Uh, Don Gibson also was a very successful Nashville songwriter, so most folks assumed that he wrote the song. Country songwriter, country singer, automatically it's a country song. But the song was not written by Gibson. No, it was written by Hal David and Paul Hampton. Now, the name Hal David may be familiar to you because he was a long-time songwriting collaborator with Burt Bacharach. Now, Hal David and Paul Hampton and Burt Bacharach are not exactly good old country boys. No way. They are part of that frothy upper level of New York to Los Angeles tuxedo-wearing pop music sophisticates. So I think... This song clearly was intended to be a suave, metaphorical pop song, perhaps pitched to uh, one of the B-list 
pop singers of the 1960-61 era, somebody like Don Cherry or Vic Damone. But somehow, in a way I don't understand, Gibson got it first, recorded it, all of a sudden it's a country song. So, uh, you know, is that all it takes? Is whoever records it first gets to define what a song is? Country person records it first, country song, folk uh, records it first, folk song, whatever. Well, let's, let's turn it around. Take Frank Sinatra's signature song, My Way. That song fits Sinatra's life perfectly. But the same song would also fit Johnny Cash's life perfectly. What if Johnny Cash had been the first person to record My Way? Would that have made My Way a country song? I don't think it would. I think if Johnny Cash had recorded that first, all the country fans uh, would be scratching their heads going, what is Johnny doing recording that song? That's not a country song. So I don't think I know anymore what makes a country song country. I used to know, but uh, it's like Bob Dylan says, uh, I was a whole lot older then and I'm younger than that now. So what do you think makes a country song country? Does this, does this sound like a country song to you? Come to my rescue Come here to me Take me Heartbreak. 